Three, two, one. Hello, Hello from, from Illinois, Illinois and Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Bob Dingo here. We're going back to Cosmo today. We're giving you an opportunity to have breakfast else other than at the, the Cosmo. Oh, uh, at the Egg Sluts. We have an alternative for you today. There's another breakfast semi place in the Cosmo. Equally as fancy. Yeah. This place is only open until 12. So you got to drag your carcass out of bed a little earlier here in Las Vegas. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to get out by noon after all that gambling, drinking, and debauchery, but it may be worth it today. Today, we're going to the ministry. We're going to the prime minister. We're going to District Donuts. And they have breakfast sammies for $9 too. Same price. What do you reckon, Mom? Do you think it's gonna be good? I will see, we'll know shortly, but I wouldn't call it fancy. Yeah, what? No, everything no. in Cosmo is fancy, no, Mom. No, no, no. Everything in Cosmo no. is fancy. It's not fancy. Okay, I don't know where District Donuts is. We gotta go find it. It must be on the second floor, I reckon. Oh, should we take the elevator, Mom? The yeah, there we go. All right, let's go see if it's on the second floor. Here we go. Okay, where are you, District? And now mum took the escalator, so uh, we lost her now. We'll have no mum for this vid. 20 minutes later. Oh my god! I waited for you. Oh jeez! I, I came down and then you were gone. If I lose mother, it's like losing your toddler in a grocery store. Oh, you gotta go to security and say, do you have any lost mothers? You know what? Do you have any mothers here? And then mom will be sitting there with the mother will be sitting there in the corner. And I'm like, there's that's my mother right there. Oh, you can give it back to me. Oh, oi vey. Oi vey. Here's District Donuts, Mom. There it is, right there. Where? Right next to Bang Bar. So yeah, they're super busy. And they're right across from there's egg slot around the corner. Okay. So you walk right past them. When you come into Cosmo, just don't even look over your shoulder and come right over to District. Unless it's crap, I don't know. We're gonna find out if it's crap right now. It's also right next to Bang Bar too. Another fantastic place. That is good. And you should I'll watch put a link for the, I'll put a link to the Bang Bar bed right above me right now. It's one of the funniest beds I've ever done. Gotta go for the classic Monte Cristo. Right. Is that it? What do you reckon? That was a donut as well. Oh, oh. oh, I'm loving it already. more impressed I gotta be honest with you. Wow. I mean those are, those are pretty.
This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Now there's never a bad time to learn a new skill. Did you ever think to yourself, I wish I knew how to crochet? Maybe I wish I knew how to program a website? Or I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who was nice, I would call her. I wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat and a six for a baller. <laughs> There's everything on here. There's another course I really thought was interesting. Uh, find your style, five exercises to unlock your creative identity by Andy J. Pizza. Okay, for starters, his name is Pizza, so you gotta give that course a try, okay? But what I like about this one is it's not specifically about how to do Photoshop better, how to do editing better. It's about finding your voice online. And Skillshare is the most dingo style way to learn a new skill. For the first thousand subscribers who click on the link below, you get a completely free 30 day trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring the Bob Dingo channel. And now back to the show. All right, Mum, we have our little club table. Just enough space for a bottle of champagne and two, <laughs> two, <laughs> and two nice champagne flutes. Champagne and juice. Champagne and and, yeah, gin and juice too. I'm not even sure how we're supposed to eat this. Yeah, I must say I don't like sunny side up eggs, so Mum will eat this one, but it's quite pretty. Okay, go in for it, Mum. Okay, it looks, I like sunny side. Oh, okay. And you know what? I have to tell you, these are not battery hands. Yeah, the yolk is super. You know how you can tell is battery hands have really light yellow color, but this orange color means that they are, uh, those uh, those hands are treated well. They're not battery hands. They're not laying eggs 24-7. Oh, uh, no, good, good. Okay, so this has eggs, ham, it's a Monte Cristo. Is, this a Mon is that the Monte Cristo? Okay. On a donut, though. <laughs> Everything's better on a donut, Mark. Unexpected, but yeah. Let me give this a go. What do you think? Mmm. Quite tasty. It is tasty. Yes. So oh, I'm getting the ham now. Yeah, There's a yeah, lot of ham yeah, on there. Yeah. And then I guess a. Uh, uh, and a little bit of the sweetness from the donut, I guess. Yeah. And yeah, what is, I think it's Swiss cheese on the bottom. Ham and then Swiss. Do you want here? Have another bite. And a ton of ham on there, I gotta say. Yeah. A ton of ham. I'm, I'm a little embarrassed shooting this here, Mum, because look, we're sitting right across from uh, Don't say uh, it. <laughs> they can improve. They can make it better. Okay. Oh, look, they grilled it too, like a panini. Bloody good, mate. Well, I think that's what a Monte Cristo is. It's dipped in egg and fried. It's like a grilled cheese with ham dipped in egg and fried. I gotta say, I like that, actually. Yes, I could, that's definitely that's so... a ham. I mean, I think the ham is a, is, a, is a fast food ham. I don't think it's a particularly, but it's, you know, it's definitely edible. Now, let me give mine a go. Okay. This I can eat with my hands, I think. Yeah? Look how pretty it is, though. You got... And what is this, the one? Um, the croque madame? This is the croque madame. And what is croque? Or croque, croque masseur? Croque madame, I think. I think a croc madame is without the egg. I don't know, but he's That's a monsieur, a madame. Ah, mais oui, ah, mother. What do you think of that? Would they sell this in Paris? Oh, the Paris. Uh, they would the, never sell this they in. Are, the Paris waiters are known for being the rudest. <laughs> they would be like, uh, les Americains. What, do you eat this? This is not French. Oh, it's so pretty though. Powdered sugar, a bit of jam. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh, that's yummy. Let me have it too. It's tasty, I go for it, Mom. Okay, so what is it though? I don't even know. This one, I think it's the same thing without egg. The jam with the ham is really good. Super good combo. And one thing I gotta say about these is they're, these are things that I wouldn't get any, you wouldn't find these Normal. anywhere else. So this is unique to District Donut in Cosmo. Yeah. Like you wouldn't go into, in, I mean, you wouldn't you, be able to get this anywhere. You wouldn't find anywhere. this at Snacks, you wouldn't find this at Denny's or anything. You wouldn't find it anywhere. No. no. This is a uniquely District Donut concoction. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's finish eating it. Bloody hell, mate. we got to dig in. Uh, it's well, it's good. Well, <laughs> it's, it's good. We'll come back to you with the conclusion in a minute. For now, we're going to tuck in. All right, later, mates.
Okay, so it's been about, uh, it's been a few minutes since we ate the uh, district donuts. And I gotta say, it's sitting easy on the system. Don't you recommend, uh, don't you recommend, Mom? I think it's very good. I highly recommend it. It's like a novelty breakfast and it fills you up. Besides being a tasty Sammy, which it was, it was also kind of a novelty food. So very Las Vegas. And I think Las I Vegas is important. You wanna find something that you can't get at any other place. Yeah. And you're not gonna find a croque monsieur made on a donut with a jam in the middle and powdered sugar and an egg yeah, on top. You're it? not gonna find that anywhere else, mate. Yeah. That's a winner, mates. I mean, I'm just gonna say it right off the bat. Winner, winner, breakfast dinner. Winner, winner, brekkie dinner. Although nine and 11, nine and ten's a little pricey. Okay, I like the white rabbit, but why does it have any eyes there? You know, Super a, creepy. It's a great song <laughs> from the, you know, from the hippie era. I think it was a group called uh, uh, It's a Beautiful Day. They the hippie of, era? Yeah. Damn beatniks. The song goes like this. <clears throat> There's a girl in my room with a face on the wall with no eyes. Da, 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 da. There's a girl in my room with a face and she's trying to hide. Girl with no eyes, who can she be? The girl with no eyes, she's looking at me. <laughs> there we go. Overture for mom. Overture for mom.